Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. Guess what? We're finally gonna get this gasket change, or we're gonna see if this is actually a deeper issue. Hopefully, I'm not losing my turbos today. But guys, before I get into the video, you know what? I appreciate you guys. Continue to hit the like button, because if I have 800 views, that means I should have 800 likes. Thank you guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so today we should be changing two things. Well, hopefully just one. Now, when I looked up at the full service manual on Infinity's uh, pipe sites, when you wanna ch choose to purchase replacement parts, they had an oil drain line. Uh, this is from the driver's side turbo. All right, this was actually like four or five dollars. This just looks like a regular piece of um, metal that's coated with black paint. Probably if they probably coated with black paint so they don't um, rust up or anything. And there's also another a feed line. I don't know if it's an oil feed line or a water feed line, but I choose to just purchase both just in case because I may not, I just may not know and get it right. So I chose to purchase both of these because they're relatively cheap. They're about four dollars for this and six dollars for this, and they literally were delivered in like under forty-eight hours, which is pretty cool. So hopefully this is just this, what we got to change, and because if it's anything deeper than this, we're gonna we're gonna be crying. <laughs> anyway, other than that, let's uh, let's continue. All right, guys, so I made it to All Out Motor Works. Remember, this shop works directly with Boost and Motion Family. They sponsor this channel. So, guys, if you definitely want to check out All Out Motor Works in Long Island, they're still running the special. The special ain't going nowhere because this is a friend of mine. You can get your test pipes and lower down pipes installed for $150, one shot, in and out. Otherwise, now, guys, let's jump into it. Setting the girl up. Setting her up. Yeah. And for some of you guys who've been watching, I want to know some of the damages to my car. So everything looks good here. Everything looks good. What? Boom. Crack here. Mmm. Well, remember this whole front grill, I, ch I kept this back grill, but I changed the bezel. But then, boom. Another crack. Someone cracked it here, so damage here from the original accident. Um, I hit a, I hit a piece of snow when I... When I lost control when I was real drive, I hit here and I have, this is cracked now too and damaged. And then the biggest part is this. Ooh. Yeah. So you guys said my car is clean, but oh man, it's the girl is beaten up, man. The girl is beaten up. And some of you guys may ask about my uh I got a stowing show for the front plate, so that's how I get to just remove my plate relatively quick. I don't like drilling into bumpers, but Let's fast forward to the next part. Also for your viewing pleasure, a Red Sport is getting an AMS heat exchanger installed. So guys, remember, you can come out to All Out Motor Works to get a lot of your service work done. Uh, if, so you guys wanna watch, I'll talk to you a little bit about it. How are, easy, how are they gonna install the heat exchanger? So pretty much, they're gonna block off both lines, probably from here and, and here. This is for this part. So you can lock off the coolant from being able to escape out of anywhere. We're gonna remove the heat exchanger itself. This small heat exchanger from here to here. This is gonna to have to slide, probably move the bracket and slide, so you can slide the heat exchanger in and then reconnect the hoses and hopefully I may see that get done today, but I might not, cause you know, I'm, I'm here getting other work done. But they're gonna bleed out the system and they're gonna take care of uh, another fellow Q50, Q60 owner. So yeah guys, definitely check out all our motor works. You know the deal. Everybody's gonna try his best to get to the back bolt. I mean nut and it seems like he got to it the drain The drain feed bolt or not Drain feed right there So he got the two nuts off for it Now he's gonna pull it down a little bit so you can access it change it and that should be it shouldn't be too hard And for the people that want to know That axle is still in there. You see that whole axle? See that whole axle? It's still in it. Just greasy or whatever the case might be, because you know all of the axle grease that I've lost over the amount of time that I have. But yeah, that axle is doing perfectly fine. Everything. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. So he's cleaning up all the oil deposits. This is great. I'm happy. Because I don't want to change turbos right now. I don't. All 
All right, everybody, so now I'm in the car. Um, pretty much, I'm in the car, he's raising the car up on the left, and I have to increase the amount of oil pressure in the turbos to make sure that, that it's not leaking from there. Because if it's, now if it starts leaking now, again, knowing that he pretty much torqued it down, the bolts and everything like that, that means, guess what? The oil leak is coming from somewhere else. So we don't want that. There's only a few places it could come from. Either the feed or the, um, the drain. Um, anywhere else other than that is the turbo itself but if it was a turbo um i would say if it was the turbo seals on the exhaust or pretty much the exhaust side it will the oil will be coming out the exhaust it wouldn't be dripping down the side it would be coming out of the exhaust unless there's like a seeping between the v-band so let's hope it's not that and uh yeah let's continue all right i'm gonna give it some revs so i can increase the amount of oil pressure A little bit more? It's a lot? I mean, I just want to in my car. <laughs> All right, everybody. So, pretty much, he took a look. We let the car run for about 10 minutes now. Gave it some revs, let the oil pressure get up. And yes, uh, I should be good to go. He used brake clean and everything on all the fittings and nothing's leaking. So yes, I saved myself getting any turbos. And I need to get this dent out of the car. I really do. This car needs love and attention. This car is being treated like the slut she is. Sorry, YouTube. But uh, yeah, so for my final thoughts, uh, let's go into the next part. All right, everybody. So that's it. Um, we are not losing the stock turbos now on IQ50. Some of you guys are probably like, yes, if Kazoo said if he loses his turbos, guess what? He's getting different turbos, upgraded ones. But no, it's just a basic oil leak. And for some of you guys who may run into this issue, um, the only reason I could think this issue might have happened is our cars, or, or anything that gets heated, goes through certain heat cycles. So our turbo housings get really hot and then they get cold and then hot and then cold. With heat, you lose clamping force in metals. It's just a thing, especially with gasket. It expands, contracts, expands, contracts. So I have about 20,000 miles, and not saying that this can't happen to someone else, but this can happen to someone else. I I can see this happening in the future for higher mileage turbo um, uh, Q50, Q60s, or our VR30. So um, if you're having an oil leak, always pay attention to your oil and if you smell oil always take a look you want to see where it may be coming from taking it to any local mechanic you want to make sure that you want to know where it's coming from and even talking to enthusiast pov he had a similar issue but they ended up changing his turbos because of it so they may not have needed to change his turbos you never really never really know you remember i, I mean listen i have a few infinity techs watching but you guys can comment below um when you guys do service work technically you're getting paid from um, infinity to do this service work so if something's leaking no you say f it it's, it's a warranty job and you get paid to do it so otherwise than that guys um if you enjoyed this video hit the like button uh, if you're new to my channel watch some other videos if you enjoy those videos uh subscribe hit the bell notification otherwise than that you have a good morning good afternoon good night you guys you know where to contact me boost in motion on ig and facebook and boost in motion on gmail.com you guys have a good day appreciate it